Hey, what's up, high levelers? It's Andrew, and in this video, I'm gonna be going over a new feature release that's going to be impacting our e-commerce store owners. We now have the ability to integrate WooCommerce with Go High Level, which is super exciting, especially if you already have a store set up on that platform. You've been wanting to integrate it with all of the powerful marketing features that High Level has to offer. Let me show you how it works. To integrate WooCommerce, it is just as simple as integrating our Google accounts, our Facebook accounts, QuickBooks, Shopify, TikTok, any of the other platforms we can integrate because it's going to be in our sub account level on integrations and right at the bottom, it's right there. All you have to do is click connect, select your WooCommerce store, by putting in your store link, keep in mind you must be inputting a real WooCommerce store that already exists in order for this to go through. Keep in mind whenever you put in your link, don't include any trailing slashes. Once you input your link, you can click next. Then we are going to be prompted to select which elements we want to import from WooCommerce. We can import our contacts by toggling on this switch. We can import our orders by toggling on this one. And we can also import our transactions by checking this box here. Now choosing whether you're importing your contacts, orders, transactions, or any subset of those is going to be really up to the individual. There's some use cases where it may make sense not to import all of your contacts. For example, if you've got another CRM that you're using with your store on WooCommerce, but if you're using Go High Level for all of your marketing, your CRM needs, then I would recommend importing your contacts, orders, and transactions. And those orders are going to be going to the payment section, which I'll show you in a second. And those contacts are going to be going into the contact side of the high level CRM. Once you've selected which elements you'd like to import, you can go ahead and click next, and then it will take you to the sync settings. So we can either turn on our syncing for order received triggers and payment triggers, or we can leave those off. So, so all this is for, and you can change this later, is to say whether or not you want to use order received triggers within high level and payment received tri triggers within high level. So these are gonna be impacting our automations and workflows, basically saying that, hey, if we're importing our orders and we are syncing between orders and payments, then these are going to go further onto the workflow level as well. And what this is going to do is going to hyperlink to your store that's on WooCommerce and they give you the ability to approve the permissions that WooCommerce needs in order to sync it with high level. Once you've done that, this little button will say connected, lets you know that your account is connected. And if you want to see any orders that are being synced or contacts that are being synced, you will see them in the payment section or in contacts. All right, so any contacts you get through the website will immediately go into contacts and then payments that you get will go to the payments and then orders screen. And then you'll be able to see the information on each individual order like this. For example, if you get an order from WooCommerce, then the source will say specifically it's from WooCommerce. This is pretty straightforward, but if you have any questions about how to integrate WooCommerce with Go High Level, leave a comment. As always, thank you for watching.